go. You know, I, I, I question, I, obviously I'm, you know, it's got someone who got brought up with materialism as, as you know, the religion and the doctrine. That's, mm. that's where we are as a society in, in uh, modern westernized culture. And uh, when I lived in America, that was definitely, definitely the case. Mm. And, um, you know, I think sometimes, do, what does it bring me happiness? The answer is no. Mm. Um, do I want to... You know, purchase things that bring me happiness. I don't know <laughs> what brings me happiness. I guess things that bring me utility. Yeah, bring me happiness. That's kind of it. Uh, as far as you know, I'm not. I'm not hanging out to buy a certain kind of watch. I'm mm. not hanging out to buy a particular kind of sunglasses. No, I used to be. Mm. I'm not. I'm not anymore. And. Uh, I don't know if we as a culture have got it 100% right as far as the whole buying things will make it better promise, which, uh, you know, I'm not going to pan around the room here, but (laughs) and just to the left of me is this massive pile uh, because I'm mid Marie Kondo of my um, my office, I'm, I'm mid... I'm looking for things that spark joy. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me tell you, you know, there's a bunch of shit that I didn't need to buy um, that has kind of followed me around from house to house. And, you know, I think about well, those raw materials, uh, you know, the, the, the energy that went into producing those things. Really, <laughs> oh, I know. What are they going to do now? Are they going to be landfill? I don't know. It's, um, yeah, I don't know if we've got it right. You know, people like... Uh, we're caught, I think, in our culture, the you know, to somewhere between wanting what your lady that did your laundry has mm. and, you know, trying to get it by buying shit. Totally. Well And I don't know I don't know if we've got it right. I, I think I went, I went down this road um, really quite aggressively um, in moving to Bali because I'd, I'd lost um, my identity and I'd lost, I'd struggled with um, mental health and can't wait to get into it, obviously, um, before that. And then I came out of that and um, was like, right, I really want to help everyone and I want to, you know, rid the world of anxiety and I want to change the global perspective. And then I moved away from competitive sport with CrossFit and football for me and then um, wanting to do that stuff, which is what was the mind made essentially. It wasn't just the podcast. And I moved away from Bali. And again, through reflection, I I was looking back and I was like, wow, I I was the same person. I thought I'd changed, you know, but I was was only going to be happy when, you know, for AFL or only going to be happy when, you know, ridding the world of anxiety. I moved away from that. And I was like, you know, you don't have to do anything. And what came of it was a bit of an existential crisis, you know, because it was, I, I essentially came to see that I was identifying myself through the external world. And I, I didn't know, um, not that I essentially believe that you always have an identity, everything changes in this universe, but um, I'd moved away from that and I'd had to really go inward because there was a lot of still, there's lots of stuff that was still bubbling below the surface. You know, my OCD wasn't entirely perfect then. My, I still was having a panic attack every now and then, although I was just more comfortable talking about it, you know? Um, but you're exactly right, man. It's um, it's it's how you feel on the inside when when no one's there. I mean, can you sit can you sit in a room just by yourself and, and be happy? You know, or do, do you need things outside of yourself to to deva- to validate those holes? Yeah, and at the end of the day, you can't you can't take any of it with you, man. Mm. None of us is going to get out of this alive, and you can't take any of that stuff with you. So, um, yeah, finding. Uh, finding the I don't know if happiness I was talking to someone about this the other day there's happiness and there's you know contentment Mm. Um, happiness happiness can be you know fleeting but have you know lasting happiness I I I think what's more sustainable for for me I think is is contentment and finding and I'm I'm quite content with this Mm. trying to hold that peak Oh, I'm so happy trying to hold that peak is quite difficult um, just trying to be content with your day and what you've got and you know that that might be a more of a more of something to aim for mm. um, you know the past the past of that is 
you know, I guess, you know, an effective part of that is, is in helping others. And that's, mm. that's pretty much, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it. Buying stuff doesn't really last very long. 